Okay, here we go. So what we are going to be doing this morning is a little tutorial on the evil witch from Snow White. Um, I do have a photograph for reference. Um, so it's literally a picture that I've got off the internet of the evil witch. Um, just so that I can have a little look at it while we work. Um, so what I am getting ready at the moment is I have a little tub here with a sponge inside that's damp and a little A4 page. And I am going to mix up a couple of colours just to make skin colour. So I've got my little pot here in the corner. And a little bit of yellow. and a smidge of red. Sometimes this takes a couple of goes to get right. Um, so we shall see. Just getting my brush so I can give that a little mix up. It's not doing too bad there. It's a little bit pink, so I'm just gonna add a smidge more white. She's an evil witch, so she's a bit gray in the face. Let's just make this a little bit paler. There we go. That is much better. Okay, so I'm just gonna give people a couple of seconds to join up. Because um, I know there was a bunch of people wanting to watch this video. So what we need to do once you've got your colour mixed up is mix some water in there just to keep him nice and moist. Even though that's a horrible word. I hate that word. Okay. Right. So I'm going to start with drawing her little outline. And so we have our little black nail here. So what I've done so far is I've just painted this nail with two coats of Flirty's Black Widow, um, which is gel polish, and I have top coated it and given it a little buff just to give me a nice painting medium. Let me just bring these lights down here. Make underneath a little bit brighter. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Now the thing with acrylic paints is if you make a mistake while you're working, you're always able to just paint over it and fix it. So I'll start with the top of her head. So you guys should be able to just whenever this video is up for the replay, you'll be able to just pause it and copy it as you go and as you try it out. So I'm just doing the top of her head now at the minute. And I'm gonna add a little bit here at the side for her cheeks. Well, for her kind of wrinkly bits above her cheeks. And then we'll go a little bit more exaggerated for her actual evil cheeks. Now I want to drop right in on both sides. So this is kind of just a little taster of what we're going to be doing in my new Disney hand-painted nail art program. Just so that you can get a little bit of a feel of it for anybody who's unsure about joining. Um, we're not going to be covering Snow White during the program. Um, but we are going to be covering some other really exciting movies, including Frozen. Frozen is amazing. 
She has a bit of a wonky chin, so let's not give her a straight chin. Okay. So now that I have my little outline done, I just need to colour it in. So during the program, these are all going to be really, really broken down into little step by steps that will be easy to follow for you guys. And you'll be able to watch and rewatch all of the videos because you will have unlimited access. They're never going to go away. You're going to be in a support group that you're going to have access to forever. So you can go back and rewatch the videos as often as you like. What you'll find when you're painting with acrylic is you always get brush strokes. Once you top coat, your brush strokes will disappear. Now, obviously, that's not completely painted in yet. I need to give it a couple of seconds to dry and then I'm going to give it a second layer of polish. While that's doing that, though, I am going to mix up some paint for her hair. So her hair, you can see in the picture, is kind of like a grey white. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white over here with a tiny smidge of black that's probably even too much black I'll just clean my brush in some water let's mix them together and see what we get and it has a little hint of yellow in it so I'm actually going to pick up a little bit of this a little bit of her skin colour colour skin colour colour and mix this in as well yeah that's a bit more like it there now Okay. Now, in the picture, she does have a hood on. Oh, what am I doing putting that over? And I'm just going to mix some water into this now as well. So her hair is kind of poking out from underneath her hood. So we'll come back to that in a couple of minutes and add in her hair. Just going to clean off my brush again. So this little brush that I'm using at the minute um, is actually just a brush from the art and hobby shop that I got probably about two or three years ago. Um, if you take care of your products, they will last you a really long time. And I think it was about three or... Um, it did used to have a lot more hairs in it, but I'm... If I need to do more detailed work and I need narrower lines, it tends to get hairs chopped out of it every now and then. So, But for me, the thinner the brush, the better, to be honest with you. So during the program, the first week is going to be all about Mickey and Minnie and Friends. So we're going to be doing um, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, obviously. We'll be doing Donald Duck. We'll do Daisy Duck. Um, we'll do Goofy. And we'll do Pluto. And we'll do a couple of different looks and designs. The program is all going to be based around using acrylic paints and hand painting everything. but it's going to be really exciting. Now, 
Now I'm going to give that another few seconds to dry. You can see over here I went a little bit too low with my skin colour. So all I need to do to fix that is clean my brush, get a little smidge of black, pop it in there. I'm going to need loads of black because I don't like the top, the shape of the top of her head anyway. So we're going to be changing that whenever we get our eyes and everything in so I can see where her hood needs to go. And along where I went too far, I'm just going to pop a little bit of black. And voila, it's fixed. Right, so another few seconds for that to dry. Um, so normally what I would do is I would be doing nail art on a couple of different nails, maybe even just one nail on each hand. So I would get this going, get my layer of paint on, let it dry, and while that's drying, I'll be working on another nail on the hand. Um, so there's never really a point where you're just sitting, not doing anything. I'm just gonna take my jumper off because it is quite warm. Okay. <laughs> Do -do -do. Okay, while I'm waiting for that, she has quite a kind of patchy pink nose. So what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of red over here. Now red is quite a strong color, so you need a little bit. So I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of that, put it down over here and pick up some of my skin color. Mix it in. Probably do me there. We'll have a look in a few minutes. I want to get her face, the coverage on her face, perfect first before we move on. So the videos in the program are all going to be a minimum, very, very minimum of an hour long, but I reckon they'll all be at least two hours long. Um, the videos are all going to be recorded live, so you will be able to jump in and ask questions if you have any. Um, but they'll also be available to view afterwards. So if you miss the live video, you won't miss out on the day or anything like that. You can rewatch them whenever it suits you. Um, the program's going to be over 10 weeks and every week we are going to focus on a different movie or a different bunch of characters. So I don't actually have my little list beside me here of the different movies that we're doing, but off the top of my head, um, week one, like I said, is going to be Mickey and Minnie and Friends. We are going to be doing Alice in Wonderland, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Lion King, Moana, Frozen, um, Toy Story. Who else are we doing? I'll add the link to this video anyway so that you can go on and have a look. And the link has all of the information about it, including prices for the programme. Um, and there is a special offer for the first 10 people who sign up. Okay, cool. Right, I am happy with that coverage now. So I'm going to give him a few seconds to dry and then we can move on and start making it look like a witch. Um, I'm also going to need a few more colours, so I'm going to get them out while I'm waiting for it to dry. So I'm going to need white. I'm going to need red. I have red out. I have black out. I need green. And that'll do me for a few minutes. So actually, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to get painting her hair in. So her hood is going to be coming down along here. So I'm going to start her hair for now here. I'm going around the little cheekbones. Down here. And her hair is going to come down here. And 
and she's going to be in a hood. So the black background, I chose a black background to symbolize her hood so that I don't have to paint it in. Um, but you could paint it in if you wanted to. I'll probably do a little bit of painted over it now in a little while just to make it stand out a little bit more. And we'll jump over to this side then. I'll go around the outline first with my lovely shaky hands. <laughs> my hands go through phases where they'll be shaky for a day and then they'll be like rock steady. And then they'll be shaky, and then they'll be steady, and it's really irritating. But it's fine. Just go with the shake. Sorry, I just headbutted the camera. Hope that didn't make it wiggle too much. So this is one of the more difficult designs that we're going to be doing in the program. We're also going to be doing loads of super easy ones. So there is going to be something in there for everybody. And everybody will be able to do everything with a little bit of practice anyway. So if you're looking at this going, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it, you totally will once you try it out a bunch of times. Okay. Right. So, first layer on the hair is done. We'll come back and look at that again in a little while once it's dry. So I'm going to move back onto her head and I'm going to start with her eyeball. So I'm going to get a little bit of water into this white. it mixed up, ready to go. And her eyeballs, okay, let's have a little look. So her eyeballs are coming in around here. And she has quite big eyeballs. So we are gonna draw two big circles for her eyeballs. Circle number one. Circle number two. So that is literally all an eyeball is, is a circle. And if you can't draw a circle, you can use a dotting tool. And that will do exactly the same thing. Okay, I'm going to pop a little bit more white on top of that blob that I have in my pot because I made it a little bit too wet. So it's not very opaque. And I'm going to mix that into my blob of water that I already have in there. There you go, that looks better. Now, and I'm going to go over that again. At the minute, she kind of looks like a South Park character, if I'm quite honest. And again, like that, don't worry if you make a mistake, because you can fix everything with acrylic paint. You just put more paint on top of it. Okay. 
Now she has quite dark baggy eyes so what I'm going to do is scoop up a little bit of my grey from her hair because I'm not going to need all of that and I'm going to scoop up a little bit of my black and I'm going to mix that in a little bit more okay now we have nice dark rings to put around her eyes so on this eye her eyebrow is going to be coming down across her eye a little bit. So on this eye, I'm only gonna put her dark circle around kind of three quarters of her eye. Whereas on this eye, I'm going to put it all the way around. Make that a little bit more kind of straight rather than round. Just like the two sides there. And I want this side to go up and out a little bit more. And I'm just cleaning off my brush. And now we might as well do her eyebrows. So a little bit of water into my black. Now, so eyebrows. My brush is a bit wet there, let me just dry it. Okay, so eyebrows. We want her to look angry and kind of mischievous. So we're gonna give her a curly eyebrow comes up and disappears into her hood. See the way the fact that my background is black, the eyebrow just disappeared into it, which worked quite well. And then the other eyebrow, we want to be even more crazy. So I'm going to start it down here. I'm going to curl it ooh, into the eye. And then curl it again at the top. Okay, so she's kind of raising one eyebrow and she's got one down lower. Yeah. I'm going to take a little bit of my skin colour. And I'm 
I'm just going to tidy up the top of the eyebrow because you can still see some of the pale grey. And I want the skin to come down a little bit further. So do you see what I mean by you can really touch it up afterwards? Smidge more black. Just here and then. Poof. Okay. So, no witch is going to be complete without her grumpy forehead features. So, I am going to dip into my black, pick up a small amount of black, and we're going to give her a wrinkly forehead. And down this side. She's starting to look like a bit of a crazy witch there now at the minute. Okay. Now, so for the green, let's get her eyes done. So she's a witch, so she has green eyes. put a dot right in the center of each of her eyes. And again, you can use a dotting tool for that if you want to. Now actually what I should have done there was I should have done a black dot first. So I'm going to go over that. With a black dot. A little bit wider than the green. And I'll show you why now in a second. So I'm going to let them dry first of all before I do anything else to the eyes. But while I'm waiting, is this still good to go? I'm going to draw a quick outline of our evil witch's nose. Ooh, not with that on that. That is too runny.
try that again. So, this is going to resemble something else for a few minutes. So I want two big bulges on either side. And then I want her nose to come down. Fair enough down that it's going to be over her mouth. Hmm. <laughs> Now I want most of the redness of her funny looking nose to be at the edges. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of my skin colour and before that totally dries I'm going to run it down the centre of the nose. just to blend it down. Okay. Now my eyeball should be dry, so I'm going to go back in with my green. Make sure my brush is dry this time. Back in with my green. And I'm going to put my green dot inside my black dot. And the reason for that is I want to have a black outline around the green. And the easiest way to do that is to do a black dot first and then put the green on the inside of the black dot. And that gives you an outline rather than trying to paint a teeny weeny outline around the green eyeball. Okay. Now, so I'm going to start getting her mouth ready. So for that, I need a dark red, so I'm going to get red with a bit of black. Also, you don't need to have loads of different acrylic paint colours. I have a yellow, red, green, black, white, blue. I have a sparkly turquoise one that's a bit crap, a sparkly green one that's a bit crap, a sparkly red one that's a bit crap, and I have purple, and I can make all of the colours that I need with those. So, realistically, the only ones that I ever really use are the red, green, the red, yellow, green, blue, black and white. So if you have those colours in acrylic paints, and it doesn't have to be any particular brand of acrylic paint, it can be any acrylic paint, that's all you need to get going with this type of work. So she's happy because she's an evil cow. So let's give her a big ugly mouth. Look at nose. Now, and then I need a lighter red for her tongue and to make her mouth look a little bit more realistic. Not that cartoon characters look realistic, but whatever. Make her look a bit more like her, I suppose. She's 
She needs her little tongue. So I'm just drawing a little half moon underneath. think you guys can see her tongue very well in that but I can see her tongue over here it's literally just down there little round half moon now and because she's an evil witch she is going to get a little grey toot I'm not giving her a white toot because she's evil so she can have a grey toot she doesn't deserve a white toot any princesses get white tea. <laughs> it's all the little things that really add the character to these things. Okay. So, she needs a little ugly boil on her nose. So I'm going to pick up some skin colour over here and get some fluff on my brush. Right, so a bit of skin colour. And I'm going to pop a little dot right in the middle of her nose. And then a lot of what we have left to do is just outlining. Um, the outlines make a really big difference to these little things. So, I'm going to pick up a little bit of black. And actually, before I do that, I want to pick up a little bit of the grey that we used for here and I want to spread this. eyes look really dark and sunken. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. So I want to give her little eyelids first. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of black. Now at this stage I'm going to have hardly anything on my brush. And from around here, I'm literally just going to draw a little line. And on this side, I'm going to draw an even smaller one. Now, I want to put a little black dot for a pupil inside each of these green dots. Just to make her look a little bit more alive. By the way, during the um, actual program, there's going to be photograph step by steps as well. So that if you prefer working from like a photograph than a video. Now the bit where my shaky hand is going to come in fantastically. I'm going to draw around her eyeballs.
And then you have to draw around half an eyeball of this side. This also allows you to see anywhere where you've put, you know, too much of a colour somewhere. And you can go along as you go and touch it up. Just going to clean that off because I feel a little bit of grey to add in. So do you see just up here at the corner of the eyebrow I've got a little dot? And that guy is fine over that side now, I've filled him in. So I just need a little bit of grey into that corner. I'm just getting black on my brush again because I went a little bit too far. Okay. So here's where we're at at the minute. Now, for her face outline, I don't quite want black because black is a little bit too harsh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of black into the skin colour that we made up earlier on. There we go. So I want a darker colour, but I don't want black. Okay, so this kind of grey colour, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so we're going to come mm, Let's be a little bit darker than that. A little bit more black in there. So we've got one little cheek. Sorry, I had put at the camera again. So you can see I'm just following the outline there and adding a few little kind of wrinkly bits in. I'm going to just do the same on the other side. Give her her wonky sideways chin, and we'll give her a few little grumpy lines down there as well. Okay, now let's move in a bit. So for that nose, we want to give a few little wiggly lines up here show what way the nose is going and that it's crooked. We want to give a little circle around to show off her ugly boil. And then let's 
circled that gross nose. Blech. Okay. Now let's give her a little mouth and outline. And we need to make her look even older, so we'll do a little curve here for her cheek. And a little curve here for her other cheek. She's looking pretty ugly there at the minute. So, what I want to do is make her hood a little bit more definite of where it is. So I'm going to blob another little bit of black in there. And I'm just going to outline around her head. Where that hood is sitting. And if you wanted to, just to make sure that it's really obvious, you can paint it in, even though our background is black already. Okay. Now, just to finish her off, we need to do her little neck. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of nude again. And I'm going to pop it up along here. And I'm just going to do it in a little circle because then it turns into her cape. We do want to add in a little ugly voice box as well, so... Oh, I just put a fingerprint in her hood. Fix it in a second. So there will be lots of designs that are also a lot easier than this one in the program, but you will find that once you give this a go a couple of times, that you'll be more than capable of being able to do them, or her, or it, or whatever you want to call her. So while that's drying, I'm just going to fix her hood. Oh, I stuck my finger. And then down below her neck. I'm 
You can also paint it in in black. And that will give us a chance to make her hair a little bit creepier looking as well if you need to. Now at the minute you can still see paint strokes in that there, but like I was saying earlier on, once we top coat this after it's dry, you won't see paint strokes anymore. I'm just giving her an Adam's apple. And I think, except top coating, that is our evil witch finished. So let me just show you the picture again that I worked off. It was just a picture that I googled. So Hang on, I'm going to flip the screen around in the uh, recording. And this is what we came up with. Now I'm just going to give that a few seconds to dry. Acrylic paint does dry really quickly, but I just don't want to smudge it. So I'm just going to give him a couple of seconds and top coat them so that you can see what he looks like when he's shiny. Okay. So you want to float your gel polish top coat on and ideally you want to give it two layers of top coat just to make sure that if it starts to wear away, do you know what the tip or that, that your client gets as long out of it as possible. So obviously I still have to cure that, but that is what she looks like when she is top coated. Um, nail art can sometimes look really complicated but when you actually break it down into like circles and wiggles and lines and stuff like that, um, it gets a lot easier and it isn't quite as complicated as it looks. So like I was saying, this is kind of like a, a sample of what we're going to be doing in the new nail art program. Um, it's one of the more difficult designs, um, but she is really cool. We are going to be doing the villain in all of the different uh, movies that we're working on, as well as the good guys too. So if anybody would like any more information, I am going to add the link to the program into the description. Um, and, or you can send us a message and I am more than happy to answer any questions. So thank you for joining me and watching. I know that was a long video this morning, but if anybody gives it a go, please feel free to share what you've done. I would really, really like to see what you come up with. So I shall see you all soon. Thanks a million for watching guys. Bye.